welcome to one of the busiest men in town for the past 15 months, as well as running his award-winning restaurant in the evenings, Michael Meredith has also been getting up at 5am to make a whole heap of school lunches. Thanks for sometime, somehow finding the time to join us today. Thank you. And yeah, what I say, pretty. you smell delicious. <laughs> no, he does. It smells incredible. It's like yeah. a... Vanilla, sort vanilla of vanilla coconut. Mm. I mean, it sort of comes with my background, so yeah. <laughs> it Ooh, smells right. absolutely beautiful. Now, well, there's your secret, gentlemen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, for anyone who doesn't hasn't grasped the whole way that eat my lunch works, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, it's very simple, man. We're uh, we're online business, so obviously you can go online, you order a lunch, it gets delivered to you to your workplace wherever you're at, and each lunch we sell, we give a lunch uh, as well. So it's very simple. I mean, it, people. Uh, you can order a week in advance and obviously you can continue it or you yeah. can cancel it. So, because the menu does change. Every day we change. So I order my, my lunch, it gets delivered to me. And where does the lunch that I give, where is that going? It goes, to, I mean, collectively we're doing 35 schools all up. So wow. obviously um, every day we get like 30 volunteers each day to make those give lunches. And normally they go to 35 schools. And I think we're, we do around 12 to 1300 um, lunches every day. Gosh, so, that's a lot of lunches. Those volunteers lot. must be really important. Yeah, I mean, the volunteer, we, we probably have done over 2,000 volunteers since we opened. And without them, you know, the give stuff in the morning, it's, I mean, it's hectic. You know, there are days we're doing 1,100 sales and then 1,300 sandwiches. It's, it's a lot. Gosh. So you, Michael, you've got your, your restaurant, Meredith, which is fantastic. Um, but you got involved with Eat My Lunch right in the early stages. What made you feel compelled to get involved? Um, I, I don't think you remember, there was, the Green Party was trying to push, um, I think, uh, the government to, to pass something where they can actually subsidise school lunches. Um, and it didn't work, it sort of didn't get passed. So obviously, two weeks later, I got a call from Lisa and Ian, obviously they're the founder of Eat My Lunch, and they've just asked me simply if I was, well, I'd be happy to be involved. And it's one of those things, you know, I mean, we... It was a simple yes, you know. A no-brainer. No you, you find the time. I mean, do you think people are surprised by the fact that so many kids are going to school hungry? I think people are very surprised by that. But, I mean, the, the figures are there. And it, when you actually go out to the schools, you realise, um, you know, there is a lot of that. I mean, the situation these kids are in, their families, you cannot judge these things, but, you know, it's just the way it is. And, yeah. obviously, the, the simple things of people that get involved, it's just... Just buying a lunch, and I think that's why it worked well for us because you know you can actually do something about it. You can do something, and what's genius is that you're doing something, but you're also helping yourself as well because yeah. you're getting I mean, a beautiful you're, you're, lunch. I mean, it's like you know we eat lunch every day, yeah. so obviously buying yourself a lunch and giving a lunch. It's uh, so you know obviously you're at the coal face, I guess, of seeing kids that turn up to school without lunch. How do you think? What's one thing New Zealanders can do to help make that situation better? Apart from supporting <laughs> Eat My Lunch, is there anything else we can do? I know it's a big question, and you're not a politician. <laughs> I, know, I mean, I think the biggest thing I've sort of noticed from, out of this is the awareness that has come out. Of right. It. You know, people are aware, aware of it and they want to do things, and obviously they come on board because they know it's something they can play a part in that. Um, you know, long term, I don't know. I think there's a lot of issues in, in the way we live and how people are living. Um, the diets that we eat and the stuff right. like that. If you you know you go to these schools and you see um, what these kids take to school, obviously is convenience food. A lot of food's about convenience nowadays, where it yeah. makes it quite hard. I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know. Yeah. What, uh, I think the biggest thing is we can do as much as we can. Michael, I want to ask you: Has it always been your thing when you you, you came here from somewhere when you were twelve, left mm -hmm. school at fifteen? Was cooking always your jam? Is this what you wanted to do? No, nah, cooking was never, I mean, it was one of those things you don't really know what you're going to do when you leave school. It sort of just happened. My brother was cooking before me. My mother was always being involved. You know, she was a housekeeper when, for the priest when we came over from Samoa. So food was always part of, of bringing up. But yeah. you don't realise until later on in life that it actually becomes your... When did you figure out that it was actually, hey, I could actually make a living from this. This could uh, be my thing. I think when I first actually went into the kitchen, I realised how... How good, you know, I was pretty good. Yeah, that natural know, thing going on. Natural uh, <laughs> ability to... Unlike Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. True. That's why I'm not a chef. Watch him chop. I'm the same, Mike. <laughs> um, yeah, so he sort of just went from there and, you know, you work for some really... You're fortunate enough to work for some really good chefs and, you know, you find that passion and that's the passion that drives you. 
Now, while you're here, I need some advice because obviously being a chef can be quite stressful. Um, clearly, it's etched all over Mark's face how stressful <laughs> it is. Um, so, and, but you're quite cool, calm and collected. Uh, so what's your secret? <laughs> what are you doing between times? Uh, I mean, Jesus, I mean, everybody's their own person. But, I mean, the key thing, you know, things will happen. Things mm. will, we just go with the flow, really. I mean, you know what? We're, we're Polynesians, we're, we're quite, well, the masters of uh, last minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Island time, yeah. So what, is, what is your family, like, when you get home, do you cook for your family as well? Um, no, no I, I sort of, um, no, I don't. Uh, you don't kid, make my, them my, all smoothies, do no, you? My, my kids live in Australia, so I, okay. sort of, I, I stay in, in the house with a flatmate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, no, we, we sort of eat out a lot. Do they the dine way. out on you saying, hey, you should see who my flatmate is. It's Michael Meredith. He'll cook us something yeah. amazing. <laughs> and then he doesn't. Have a smoothie. Yeah, I mean, I think the hardest thing is when you get invited to people's houses, they're always like a bit nervous to cook for you and what they eat. Yep. Or, I'd yeah. be nervous to cook yeah. for you. But that's all right, because we can go to your restaurant and you can cook for us and we it's can amazing. pay you. Meredith, what's this dine by donation thing? What's that? Uh, it's something we do every Tuesdays. We, we support different charities every Tuesday. Every, every two months we change a charity. So oh, right. what happens is we donate the... People come in and they do. We do four courses. You whatever you decide to pay for that goes to the to the charity. If you're going to drink, we take that money. So nice. obviously, it's just it's something that we I wanted to do and. Sounds yeah. awesome. Mm. And you should be donating a huge amount because <laughs> the food is amazing. I need to come back for another visit, actually. Uh, now, for more information or to order Eat My Lunch in Auckland, Hamilton, and from next week in Wellington, jump onto the Eat My Lunch website. Thank you so much for coming in. Pleasure.